Hello there and welcome to another Film in 5 review from More Movies. My name's Greg Fisher and in this video I'm going to be talking about the 1980 horror film The Changeling, which was directed by Peter Medak and that stars George C. Scott, Trish Van Der Veer and Melvin Douglas. Just a warning that I will be talking about the story and other details from the film, so consider this a spoiler alert. The Changeling is a Canadian film production that falls into the supernatural and psychological horror subgenres. It is based on accounts given by writer Russell Hunter, who claimed to have experienced a haunting whilst living in an old mansion in Denver, Colorado. The story in the film starts in New York City and then moves cross country to Seattle. Although some of the locations were shot in these two cities, the majority of the movie was shot in Vancouver and Victoria in British Columbia. Veteran actor George C. Scott plays a successful music composer, John Russell, whose life is wrecked by tragedy when his wife and child are killed in a freak accident. He moves to Seattle to start anew and ends up renting a huge old mansion. But not long after moving in, Russell begins to hear strange noises when he's alone in the house. When other spooky occurrences begin to transpire, we are given the distinct impression that there is something supernatural going on. Russell begins to investigate the noises in the huge house, and when he discovers some clues from the past, he begins to uncover a mystery that will become an obsession for him. This movie takes its time to get to know its central character, and slowly builds an appropriate suspense. As we witness a man who is psychologically haunted by grief and loss, we also begin to realize that he is being literally haunted by some form of spirit that resides within the mansion. It sounds cheesy and a bit obvious, but this incredible film is neither of these things. It is revealed that the ethereal presence is that of a child whose grisly demise took place in a secret room in the attic of the mansion. John Russell is a man who is attempting to get away from his past and trying to forget about the horrendous accident that saw him lose his beloved family. But the eerie goings on in his new home force him to confront his memories and he decides that the only way to put the past to rest is to solve the mystery at hand. Russell is befriended by Claire Norman, who is played by George C. Scott's real-life wife, Trish Van Der Veer. Together, they decide to host a seance at the house in order to try and communicate with the spirit and discover the nature of its unrest. This scene is one of the most convincing and creepy in all of cinema. Even now, over 40 years since its release, the portrayal of this particular ghostly communication is both unnerving and thrilling to witness. Did you die in this house? Ooh, every spooky scene in this movie is incredibly effective. Objects move on their own, doors open and slam shut, windows break, taps turn on by themselves, and freaky coincidences arise inexplicably, all adding to the intensely frightening atmosphere. For the most part, the changeling plays on our own fears and suspicions without ever being too overt or obvious. It was released within the same era as The Exorcist, The Omen, and The Shining, but whereas these three films are still lauded and hailed as classics of the modern horror era, The Changeling tends to be forgotten by most. This is a great shame, as I believe it's equally as good as these three films, and reflects many of the same great qualities as each of them when we examine the attributes of the storytelling, the clever use of the cinematography, and the relevance of the music and the soundscape to aid the insidious aura that envelops the movie. George C. Scott is perfectly cast as the troubled composer who is pulled into a whirlwind of controversy as the depths of his investigation delve deeper than he imagined, eventually leading to a showdown with a powerful senator played by Melvin Douglas, whose connection to the house and its past are unveiled with dramatic consequence. If you've ever been freaked out by strange noises in your house or irregular occurrences that have made you question reality just for the briefest of moments, then the changeling is likely to have an effect on you. If you've ever believed in ghosts or the efficacy of mediums communicating with the dead, then this one might just have the power to unsettle you. Sure enough, it gets a little bit silly towards the very end, but what horror film does not overindulge itself and become larger than life to some degree? Pound for pound, the changeling has the horror goods, and in my opinion, you could do a lot worse this Halloween than watch this incredibly creepy and unnerving film. And those lucky enough to have yet to see this one are in for a real trick or treat, if they dare uncover the mystery of the changeling. How did you die? How did you die? How did you die? How did you die? 
Well, that's it for this video. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. And I hope to see you again on another Film in 5 for more movies. So what did you think of The Changeling? Did it scare you in any way at all? Leave us a comment and let us know. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe right here on YouTube. For more of our articles and reviews, see our website, moremovies.co.uk. And why not join us on social media, at moremovies for you that's across the board. And if you'd like to support us because you enjoy our content, consider buying us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com or become a patron over at patreon.com. All the links are in the description below. And to check out more of our filmtastic videos, click one of the links on screen now.